me to 1 Thessalonians. Oh, yeah. For we are talked about it. We're going to read a little bit. And since it was 9-11 and people have passed away and, and died, I'm telling you, some of them or a lot of them may not have known Jesus. Right. That's right. Yeah. And they might not be in glory. That's right. But this is why it's important to disciple people, to, to tell people about Jesus yeah, and cool. encourage people about Jesus so that they have that hope in the future. And so... 1 Thessalonians 4, 13. And I want to read this through with me. It says, but I do not want you... 1 Thessalonians, you find the T's, they're all together. They kind of hang out together. Alright, so... You, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13. But I do not want you to be ignorant. That means without knowledge. Brethren, he's talking to believers. He doesn't want you to be running around scared, church. That's why we get the promise of the Holy Ghost. Oh, to keep us firm and grounded and not weary right into the left. We can we have the hope of God. He doesn't right. want us to be worried concerning those who have fallen asleep. They're not dead. If he's to say dead, that means a separation from God. We're just the body has fallen asleep. This is uh, actually absent from the body is the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We look for that time to come. Alright? So when we're not shaken, lest you sorrow as other who have no hope. Are you sitting here today going, oh, my loved one in this? You have no hope. You have no hope. Man, we were just talking before we left. Man, we just, just necessarily, weddings are not the funnest thing to do anymore. People don't take you seriously, but funerals. I'd love to do a, a, a Christian funeral. You know, it's a party. Because we know that they're in heaven. They're going to praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I tell you, I love it. So we have the hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, church, do you believe that? If you confess it, you're saved. Amen. Even so God will bring with Him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you, by the word of the Lord, not by Paul, but by the word of God, we hope to Him that we who are alive and remain until, that's the timeline, the coming of the Lord. The Lord is coming. Yeah, and I want man. you, church, to be ready. Yeah. I want you to not be missing it, doing things, yeah. this and that. Every day, be looking up today, Lord. Is today the yeah. day Come that on. you're coming? I've set you up for success. We're built on the solid foundation. We're building up. Now we're looking. Church, you're saved. You, you believe that Jesus is your Savior? Yeah. Then the next thing we're looking for him is to get the power of the Holy Ghost until, until He comes. Yeah. Right. Uh, All right? It's just number the things. Amen. That's what you look for every right. day. Right. Lord, baptize me in the Holy Ghost. Lord, come and get me out of this world. Right. Lord, when is this coming? This is the thing that we get to look forward to right now. Amen. Right now. Right. Meeting Him right now. Right. For the Lord Himself would descend from heaven Woo! with a yeah. shout. Come Say shout. Yeah. With the voice of an archangel oh, and with the trumpet of God Amen. and the dead in Christ will rise first. Yep. And yeah, I'm going to tell you something. You're not going to miss it. You're going to hear the trump. Oh, Just yeah. I, I, I give the analogy like this. When you're in Walmart and you, and you, you have kids and, and like a mama, she can hear her kid. There'd be 40 kids running around and one kid cried, that one's mine. Uh -huh. You know, they're, so they're so in tune right. to the word. Jesus right. said, my sheep hear my voice. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when he yeah. speaks, we're going to go, yes, Lord, come, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, thank you, Jesus, you know, we're going to know it, so don't be afraid that you're going to miss it, don't be afraid you're going to miss it, be looking, always looking for him, he's not going to pass you by if you accept him with your full heart, now you can be telling me and doing it in vain, then you might be skipped over. But if you, if Jesus is over the doorpost, yeah, he will not skip over you. Yeah, you'll be saved. You'll be saved. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I was talking with his brother over here, Jim. You know, the Old Testament is a foreshadow of what to come. And, you know, when they put the blood over the doorpost, yeah. the death angel would skip over it. Yeah. And then, you know, the blood of lamb, he, he's not going to skip over it. He's going to say, he is mine. Yeah. She is mine. And yeah. he's going to come and get his own. Then we who are alive become today. We shall be caught up. Yep. Caught up. Oh, harpezo. This word, Greek word, harpezo, means to snatch out quickly. Yeah. yeah. 
we have to be taken out before the seven years of tribulation comes in and, and all, really, all hell breaks loose, right, really. Right. Just think, yeah. all the Christians that you can think right now are taken out of the world. What would happen? Oh, wickedness. And yeah. We see wickedness now. It's going to get worse. Oh, yeah. But we're looking for the coming and don't be missing it. Amen? Amen. Church, don't be missing it. And you won't yeah. if Jesus is your Lord. Right. We'll be right. caught up. I like this in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Now this isn't the second advent. Now we're going to meet the Lord. When He sets foot back, we're going to be with Him. Alright? We're going to be with Him. But we're, He's going to meet Him in the air. We're going to call. Yeah. We're going to just go boom! In a twinkling of an eye. In a flash. Faster than your eye can even move. Faster than I can turn these lights on. Boom! We're just, it's going to be changed in a heartbeat. How is that going to happen? Well, all He had to do is speak it. Let there be Light! Boom! Yeah, yeah. And there's light! Let there be, you know, he just speaks it and it happens. Boom! Yeah. So there's no, don't worry about how it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Right. And thus we shall always, say always, always, always be with the Lord. Amen. I'm telling you what, that's yeah. what we've been fighting for. That's what we strive for. Yeah. And we do not, church, want anyone to miss that. Yeah. That's why we tell them, we stop today. Hey, and mourn with me a little bit. We stopped today just a block or two from Pastor's house. And we were talking in another gentleman. And we was going to stop and invite him. Yeah. And the guy says, the guy says, well, these are pastors. And he goes, I'm not interested. Yeah. And we go, what? We were going to give you $100. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. We were just going to invite him to church. I'm not interested. Before we even could even invite him, he was, I'm not interested. You're not interested in heaven? Well, we should have got I should have got out of the car and said, Well then you surely are interested in hell. Because that's where you're going, brother. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I should have done that. I should have done that. I don't know him. I mean set, never see him again because he's going to hell for sure. And I'm not. So I should have said something to him like that. Should have. Maybe you get a chance tomorrow. Yeah, he lives right on that corner. Knock on the door. You know you're going to hell with that kind of attitude? I'm telling you, Jesus died on the cross. So all we have to do is accept that. Believe what he did for salvation. Deliverance from our sins and the consequences is hell. If you do not accept him, you're condemned. What the Bible says already. That's why it's a necessary to have the seed of Christ in you yes. planted yes. firmly yes. in the right. solid ground yes. that nothing can weaver and shake and move you ever, ever, ever. Glory to God. Yes. Yes. Glory. Yes. Praise your brother. Turn with yes. me to Colossians. I'm telling you, so many people, oh, I'm not interested. <laughs> well, you're going you're gonna to miss the mark. That's right. You're going to miss the mark. Colossians chapter 3. You're going to miss the mark. He's already missed the mark. He's going to miss it. And you know what? And he don't have to. That's the whole thing that upsets me. Is he don't have to. There's not one person that God wants to miss it. He doesn't want no one to perish. Not one, what it says to Peter. Not one to perish. That's why Jesus died. He was the perfect sacrifice for all of mankind. When I'm saying all of mankind, I mean all the other ethnics, all the other people. If they would recognize Jesus as Savior, it would be good. Yes, amen. But they chosen a different way, a different path, a different servant God and, and fake gods. So Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1. It's in the New Testament. If, if, two letters, if, then you were raised. The question is if. Am I? Ask you, you can, I can't answer that for you. You can raise your hand, but you've got to know yourself. If. If you were raised with Christ, say, yes, I am. Then you, then you are. The answer is yes, I've been raised. Yeah. Only you can answer that. Right. I can't answer it for you. Right. I can't be there be beside you when He comes and judges uh, every man. He, right. I go, well, He's a good person, Lord. No. You've got to answer for yourself. Right. It's just, you've got to ask Jesus in your heart, personally, yourself. And I believe you have. So, but that I want to show that if you ever show it to somebody else. With Christ, seek those things which are above. Yes. What are we to do? Seek heavenly thoughts. Amen. Seek yeah. heavenly things. I mean, because as a heavenly is going to be good. I'm telling you, it's going to be better than earthly. Right. I'm telling you right now, because earthly, it's going to be good one day. But right now, we're this is if if we are heavenly thought, this is the only hell we're really going to know. 
So now, give me out of this hell. <laughs> Amen. All right, get me into the good heaven. Get me in the good spot where the streets are like crystal clear and gold and wonderful and where there's no sin. Amen. There's no sin in heaven, none whatsoever in the presence of God. So let's seek those things which are above. Where Christ is sitting. You know, he's at the right hand of the of the Father. Set. We have to set our mind on things above, not yeah. on things of the earth. Right. Set them on God. Set them on things of the set them on the word of God. Remember last night I said, hey, remember a scripture. Remember one. Said pick one out that fits you and remember it and then share it with somebody. You can do that. It don't have to be a great big long one. It could be <laughs> it could be it could be John eleven thirty five. Anybody know that one? <laughs> Come on. Come on, church. Yeah, yeah. who said it? Jesus. Ah, brother, brother, drink out of it, sharp. Jesus wept. You can remember that, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's all you got to do. You know, and you, and you say, well, how will that help me? You could say, this is how you do it. You know this one. 1135, Jesus wept. And say, you know, Jesus loved us so much that he cried for those who are missing the mark. He loved you. Would you accept him today as Savior? Boom! That's enough to get people saved. David would say, yes, Jesus, I want him in my life. Boom! You got one saved. Another crown. Another, another something in your crown. Amen. Glory to you. That's a reward. You know, when we get to heaven, we're going to get rewards? Yep. Yeah. Somewhat. I don't know what they're going to be, but I'm going to tell you one thing, church. When we get to heaven, and the reward, when he passes them out, they're going to be good. Oh, absolutely. He ain't going to pass out bad ones. You're going to go, oh, king of like your spoiled little children or grandchildren. I don't want this. Throw it on the ground. I'll tell you what you will get if that happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you ain't going to do that with the gift he gives you. No. You're going to, oh, Lord, this is good. Right. This is good, oh, right? Amen. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Amen. That's a, Set your heart in that. You know, you, you get up every day and you're calling upon Him. You, you're just sinking more in the body of Christ. And the more you sink in, you'll be put to places. You'll be put to the finger one day. One day you'll be put to the foot. One day you're know, taking the gospel. One day you'll be in the summer taking the punches. And, and you know, just and when you get into the Word of God, just move. You're just moving. You're, you, become, you become like putty to God. Or, or what's they say? Clay. And isn't he the master potter? Yeah. And we get to be molded. Amen. And so the more you get of God and the more you let him in your life, the more we're molded yeah. and thinking yeah. and we're used for the potter All to right. do the glory and praise Amen. for him because we are able. Amen. Because he powers us in the power of the Holy Ghost. When Christ who is our life our life appears. Then you also will appear with Him in glory. He's coming. Church, He's coming. He's coming. And then we're going to appear with Him. Boom! Paul says, where's this? Just that quick. Boom! I can't I do that. That's pretty good. Boom! <laughs> boom! Boom, 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 boom. The Holy Ghost working up in you. Oh, T.J. Jakes, we seen the preaching on him. He was all fire up on that and the Holy Ghost bubbling up he go boom 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 it was good get the Holy Ghost to bubble up in your life <laughs> you know because he's gonna it's gonna be appear with him and glory hallelujah hallelujah Woo. turn with me to John 14 John 14 <laughs> let not John 14 1 let not your heart be what? Let, that's what the Bible says. Let not your heart be troubled. Right. You know, we live in times where, boy, we can really just be shooken up and moved and, and fearful and scared instead of gathering together and praising Jesus. John, St. John 14, 1. Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, he, Jesus says, believe also in me. Yeah. He says, I go to prepare a place Come for on. you. Yeah. And if I go to prepare a place yeah. for you, I will receive you yeah. and where I am. And I don't want you to be like Thomas. Thomas says, Lord, where are you going? Where do, how do we find you? Could you imagine? He goes, I told you. Yep. He says, for I am the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the 
Jesus is hallelujah. Jesus is the way, the truth, the truth. If you don't, don't turn on the TV, don't turn into your newspaper, don't turn to your phone for the truth. Jesus says, I am the truth. Yeah, you want right. the truth, you can open the Amen. word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And the way. He is the only way. Yes, right. yes, the only way. Yes. The only way to the Father yes, right. is through him. Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. But he, I want us, I want not only that, I want you to understand when you Except Jesus as Lord and Savior. He says He prepared many rooms or mansions for you. Yeah. You have a card now. You know when you go out to these hotels, you have to check in at the desk. And then you, you pay. And you get a card. And then that card goes up and opens that room. Well, Jesus paid your card oh, for God. you. He paid your room yeah. for you. Yeah. All you have to do is grab the card and go to the room. Yeah. We got the card. Jesus. Amen? Amen. We got the card. We go to the room. It goes, Amen. And it's by His blood. Yeah. By yeah. His stripes. Yeah. Yeah. We That's are healed right. by His power and in glory. And we're set on heaven bound. Yeah. Yeah. We can yeah. get into that room Amen. when our time comes. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Don't be scared. Because right. He's got it there for us. We're not to be scared. Right. You know, fear is absent of God in our life. Yeah. Don't be fearful. Be rejoicing because you have God in your life. First Timothy. We're sticking the T's for, for a little while. First Timothy. First Timothy. Hallelujah. Four. I said this a little bit last night, but I can run over it quick. 4-1. I want to hit it just real quick for us. Because I want to show you that He is coming. See, see, two or three witnesses, we can make doctrine. And we I can give you a lot more than two or three. I give you, and we'd be here all night. There's a bunch of scriptures that by Him coming again. Yes. I charge you therefore, 4-1, 1 Timothy. Or did I say 1 Timothy? I did say 1 Timothy. 6, I'm sorry. Just turn back one page. I do want... We're going to go there yet. 1 Timothy 6, 11. Sorry. I got this in order here. But you, old man of God... It should be just one page. Folks, one page, really. Um, in your Bibles. O man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, gentleness... This is 1 Timothy 6, 12. Fight the good fight yeah. of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Yeah. Lay hold on it to which you were called, also called and have confessed the good confession which Jesus is my Savior. That's the good confession. Yes, In the presence of many witnesses. Yes. That's why it's important to tell people when you accept Jesus or when you come up front here and you accept Jesus and you tell many witnesses. Yes. This is good. I urge you in the sight of God who gives life to all things and before Christ Jesus who witnessed the good confession. He witnessed before Pontius Pilate that you keep this commandment without spot. All right? We keep His Word without spot, blameless, until when? Our Lord Jesus Christ is appearing. Yeah. Yeah. we got to keep this Word right. spotless. Right. How many, Trent and I, we were just talking, and we're going to go there in 2 Timothy 4, 1, where people are raising up teachers yeah. and what they want to hear. This is stuff we want to hear, but this is the doctrine, this is the Word of God right here. But not some stuff that isn't the Word of God, which He will manifest in His own time. He who is the blessed and only potent or sovereign, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who alone has immorality dwelling in the unapproachable light, whom no man has seen or can see, to whom be the honor and everlasting power. Amen. We have a home. That is, and when He comes, we, He's going to get us and take us out. This is what that means. A light that you have never seen. This is going to be in the presence of Almighty God. Amen. And you're going to be into the promise. And He's going to come and get you. And I'll tell you what, we're going to get something. It's going to be wonderful. But we get the promise right now to encourage us. The promise of the Holy Ghost. Yes. The yeah. promise of uh, helps. 
and great things and believers, people still accepting Jesus. People still, hey brother, you just accepted the Lord Jesus yourself a couple of weeks ago or three. Isn't it good? People, that means the Holy Ghost is still working. Hello. Amen. The Holy Ghost is moving people yeah. to accept the Lord Jesus. These are Amen. promises. Don't lose faith. Don't look not towards heaven for the holy promise to come. Because He is coming. Amen. Amen. Give me, I'll give you another one. Turn to that. 2 Timothy again. 4. I charge you. 4 1. Sorry about that. I kind of jumped a little quick. Therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead at His appearing and His kingdom. <laughs> I'm telling you, this sounds like an announcer there. It's going to be a battle. We're going to defeat the evil. And when He comes, we're taken out. And guess what? We win. We won. We're winners. Because we are more than victors in Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians Amen. 15, 58. Jesus conquered death. Hallelujah. Yeah. He conquered Satan. Hallelujah. And we are more than victorious in Christ. Amen. So we just got to live it out. Yeah. See what God has for us Amen. the rest of the day, in the night, in the morrow, and every day. Be looking for Him every day. Don't make it a one night day. Make it an every day. How many times do we pick up our cross? Daily. Yeah. Every day. We yeah. have to do that. Yeah. Christians, just pick it up and say, thank you, Jesus. Put Him on your mind. First seek the kingdom and His righteousness. And all these things will follow. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, for yeah. Matthew 6. Okay, 33. Hallelujah. Turn with me to Titus, which is just another page. Titus chapter 2. Probably just another page. You're right there in the T's. It should be just a page. Titus, Paul, another epistle, 2.11, for the grace of God that brings salvation, oh, that's God's unmerited favor, there's nothing, nothing that you can do, nothing that you can do to bring the salvation to you, right. Jesus already done it, there's nothing, you can't pay for it, you can't buy it or try it, you can't build the things. There's nothing. It says there's nothing but grace is God's unmerited favor. He wanted to. So when you sit here and go, I don't know. You're maybe having a bad day. That's the devil tormenting you. Say, well, maybe God don't love me. No. He already loved you. Yeah. While you were sinners, it yeah. says. Right. Yeah. While you were without strength, Christ died for the ungodly. Yeah. 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 He died for them already. Yeah. Yeah. Now once you accepted Him, knowing that He loved you, when you were without that, I mean, he went to the cross. That's how much he knew that you would turn and give him your life. Right. He knew right now. And he knows who have not come yet. Uh -huh. He right. knows that. And it breaks his heart and mine. Yes, it does. For the grace of God that brings salvation, that's that deliverance from our sin, has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust. We should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age. When? Now. Right now. now. In this now. present age. Yeah. Right now. I know he was talking then, but this Bible is living and sharper than a two-edged sword. Amen. It's right now. Right if you're now. hearing it, he's talking to you right Amen. now. Amen. Now. 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 Yes. That's good. In this present age, looking for the blessed hope. And that's what we're to do. Yes. Are we not to be looking for the blessed hope? The blessed hope is Jesus' return right. for his the church the grace age, us. That's us right now. Yeah. We are the grace age church in the body of Christ. Right now. And He's going to come and fulfill Himself. Yes. Bring us back spotless and blameless. Amen. Amen. <laughs> a glorious church. Ephesians says, a glorious. You're glorious, spotless, wonderful. Ooh, hallelujah. Glorious appearing of a great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who Himself for us that He might redeem us from every lawless and deeds and purify for Himself His own special people. You're special. He gave us Amen. Yes. Oh, he redeemed us. In other words, He bought back what right. the devil has taken. Right. The devil has taken eternal life and Jesus, the seed, had to come into this world, live and die and be buried and He bought us back. He went into the gates of hell, took them keys from Satan, yeah. and He bought us back. 
and he made his very own special people. So anybody says, I don't know. No, I'm special in the sight of God. I'm special because he died for me. He made, I am special in his sight. Zealous for good works. We're to go do something. Speak these things. Exhort and rebuke with all authority. In other words, lift up or to put down. Let no one despise you. Amen. Amen. Uh, looking for the blessed hope. Yes. The appearing of our great God and yeah. Savior Jesus Christ. Let's look. We're looking for Absolutely. our great God. We are looking. Yeah, He's yeah. taking us out. We're looking. Be looking for that time. Yeah. Be looking for that time. Don't be weary. Be looking for that. Didn't yeah. I tell you the first day I'm going to take you from Genesis to Revelation? <laughs> Let's turn to Revelation. Amen. Chapter 22. Mm. Revelations 22. 12. That's that last book in the Bible. Oh, man. Come on, man. This is the one. That's it. This is Revelation. God revealing or unveiling. God unveils His Word and His plan to man. And He says, oh, yes. He says, and behold, I am what? Coming. What does He say? Say Coming. I am what? Coming. He says it. Look for it yourself. Don't believe what I say. Look for yourself. 22, 12. Behold, I am coming quickly. Yeah. Quickly. Yeah. And my reward is with me. He's bringing rewards. And like I said, they're going to be good. Whatever they are. Yes. Don't know. Yes. Don't. I'm not even worried about it. But I am looking for His coming. Because yes. He said He's coming. So I'm anticipating the coming of my Savior, my Jesus. Yeah. I'm looking for Him coming. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen? Don't know when the time is, but does it matter? I'm still looking. Yeah. If it's today, I'll be looking. If it's a hundred years from now, and I'm still walking, uh, praise Jesus, I'll still be looking. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh. For my, my Redeemer is with me. He, my reward is with me, he says. Ooh, I'm seeing things. To give to everyone according to his work. Yeah. So it's important to go to work. That's why we talked about last night, discipleship. Uh -huh. You know, once you get saved, you just can't put your feet up and go, I don't care about the rest of the world. Right. That's not what, if that was the case, Jesus wouldn't have went from town to town to town and when they sought to kill him. And, and the disciples wouldn't have went out all over and, and, and did things what they did. They went to work. We are to go to work, church. Yeah. We're to go. I mean, I drove eight hours here to preach to you guys. Right. And to give you some hope and encouragement right. to go to work. Amen. You know, we're in Iowa. We believe in Jesus too. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's good. You're not alone. <laughs> you know, God is working all over. They're working in different towns. You be working in your ministry, like I said last night. Fulfill your ministry. Yes. Your yes. ministry. Yes. Wherever you're yes. at, just be looking and telling people about Jesus. Right. And be, just encourage them. Then we're building uh, rewards, and we're going to work for the Lord. You know, and that's a that's a good thing to do. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 And it keeps says on. Goes on. I am the Alpha. That's the beginning yeah. and the Omega. Oh, the end. Yes, he is. Come on. Hallelujah. The first and the last. Oh. He is it all. He was there in the beginning, and he's there at the end. He knows yeah. the whole thing. So you don't have to be weary, church. You don't have to be nervous. You don't have to be scared. Just when things come up, go, Lord. If it's today I meet you, then it's the day I meet you. Right. I'm thanking you for today. Protect me. Pray for protection if something's right. going down. Pray for healing if you're going going through something. Never give up. If you don't see something happen right when you pray, that don't mean you just give up. If you give up, then you really didn't mean it. Pray every day. Pray on it. I'm, I, I tell you what, I, and I want to encourage you too, because sometimes when people will say, well, you know, I want to just pray one time and that's it, and I just give it to him. But if you believe in it, you receive it. But just sometimes you back up. Jesus, what, how many times did He pray up in the garden? He went and prayed three times the same prayer. Lord, if there's any other way, if there's any other way, pray it through until you receive it. Pray it through. That's exactly right. Pray it through. Tell Him. That woman at the table, she never gave up. Lord, I know it. She just stayed there, kept hounding and hounding. Finally, He gave it to her. You know, she meant it. And he healed the problem, fixed the problem. So he's there. Blessed are those who do his commandments. We're blessed. Yes. We said the other night, we're threefold blessed, didn't we? Amen. Right? Amen. Those who what? Read it. Yes. One three. Revelations one two. Blessed are those who read it. Yep. Right? 
Amen? Those who hear it. Yeah. And the third blessing of those who keep it. Yeah. This word. Yeah. I mean, putting it to work. You know, we're hearing it, we're seeing it, now let's do it. Yeah. So You're going to be a threefold blessing. Right. That's what it's saying. Right. And that many may have the right to the tree of life. When I say that they may, excuse me, that they may have the tree, right to the tree of life, and may enter through the gates into the city. They may. I'm telling you, they may. There's a lot of people that miss the mark. Trent and I was talking right before, you know, the time is getting near. And and and, and why it is the way of destruction. Right. We, we see that COVID is keeping people away from here, uh -huh. right? right? And then people around, and, and I'm telling you, uh, narrow is the way. And if that narrow is any indication, like I said, about the Old Testament being a foreshadow, only eight got on the boat. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's leaving some of you out. I bet you'd have to fight these young ladies up front. <laughs> they said, well, I didn't serve 80 some years plus. To have you beat me on that. No, I'm here. Ladies, come on in. Jesus loves you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So don't be those that are outside, our dogs and sorcerers. Don't go there and get your palms red. You don't need any of that garbage and lies anyway. They don't know nothing. Only the Lord knows the right. things that are come. Yeah. Yeah. Sexual immoral and murderers and idolaters. You know, don't be worshiping up different things. Uh, anything. Don't put nothing in front of God right. but Jesus. Right. Amen. That's the yeah. only thing that's getting you into heaven is Jesus. Right. Whoever yeah. loves and practices a lie. Do not have a part of. Woo, 16. Right. I, Jesus. Who says this? This is no doubt who says this. I, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Amen. Have Amen. sent my angels to testify to you these things. Yep. In the churches. Where? Woo. Churches. Hey, is that, is that for us today? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, you know, people say, well, that ain't for us. No, it's for the churches yeah. today. The yeah. churches didn't happen yeah. until after he was sitting at the right hand of the Father. Right. And we're in the church age now. Yeah. And John is testifying to the churches then and to the churches now. Right. He is not dead yeah. and it is not over. We are to live the truth right here. And he's coming and be looking Amen. because I am Amen. the root and offspring of David, the bright and morning star, yeah. and the spirit, and the bride says, come, yeah. and let come them on. who hear say, come, come. come on, there's only three, come, say, come, come. 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 <laughs> whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely, for I testify to everyone who hears the word of this prophecy, this word right here, this book, if anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues, you don't want them plagues. No. Right. <laughs> you don't want them plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away of this word of this book of prophecy, God should take away his part from the book of life. God will take you out. Yeah. <laughs> you don't take it's not what I say, it's what the it's what the word says. Right. Yeah. Study the word of God. Read the word of God. That was day two. Get into the word of God. Don't let in the word of God will get into you. All right. Amen. Sin will keep you from this book. Amen. Yeah. And this book will keep you from sin. Amen. Yes, it will. And that's what it's about. Get into the word of God. All right. He who testifies to these things says, Surely I am coming quickly. Yeah. Amen. Quickly, quickly. And even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I'm done. I'm done. Woo! I'm out of here. Praise God. Woo! You don't have to be that happy that I'm done. Good preaching, brother. With that happening, Jesus word, is brother. coming. Amen. Are we glad? Let's sing or something. Anybody need baptized today? Anybody want baptized? Oh, is there somebody? Bobby, did you come tonight to get baptized or tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tomorrow might not come. No, he's, he's, he's going to be ready tomorrow. Okay. Be good. I like to do it tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know what I say? I say, wait, broke the bridge. Huh? Yeah. Wade broke the bridge, yeah. but that's okay. Yeah, you get, 
Anyway, praise tomorrow. Your folks coming down? Yeah. Yeah, good. that's good. Your folks come down and witnessing being baptized tomorrow. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Tell our family. Tell them to come. They're good, coming down good, out of Kokomo, job. right? Yeah. Yeah. I was just there in Kokomo today. Yeah, we were just up in Kokomo. Yeah, that was a good place. Yeah, we some big with their crosses. Anybody want to be baptized in the mighty Holy Ghost with Ooh. and, and I power? Know. If I didn't have the Holy Ghost, I'd say, I want... Did you know when I got saved, I said, Lord, I want everything that the disciples got. That's what I said. But everything they got, I want yeah, what that's I want. exactly what I yeah. said. I was reading it, reading yeah, it, yeah, reading yeah, it, and yeah. I'm like, they got the Holy Ghost yeah. and, the, and there's power well, and the comforter. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah, you I, get some? I, I was some of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and I, and I started serious. praying about it, man. I was praying about it, praying about it, praying about it. Anybody want to just receive the baptism? Did you know you don't have to seek for the baptism? I remember years ago, they used to tell we could all get around the altar. We'd uh, and scream, uh, wait for. I remember one guy said, to me, and somebody was got stole my Holy Ghost. I heard a guy say that one time. I thought that don't happen. No, and, and, and he just wasn't seeking hard enough. That's all. That's it. That's it. Are you here tonight, and you want to baptize in the Holy Ghost? Anybody? If you don't have to seek anymore, haven't you received the Holy Ghost? Have you spoken tongues? Yeah, but why not? I want to tell you. Okay, just sit right there. Yeah, amen. Just, just receive it. Look here. Just receive it. Now, they're Pentecost. Look here, man. Go look, no way. Look right here. When they had Pentecost, they were just doing what you're doing. They were sitting down. And they were all in one accord. They were in agreement. Look here. Look here. Look here. Just look right here. And they were paying attention. And, and they listened. And then he said, wait, and you shall receive power. But they had to wait, and they had to ask God. Now, now we don't have to wait anymore. Because the Holy Spirit is already here. All we have to do is thank you. Yeah. We pray for it and begin to oh. listen to it. And then begin to begin to speak another language that you've never taught before. It'll come right out of here. It'll come up in your tongue. It's gonna sound funny to you, but it'll be good. You ready? You ready to speak? You ready to speak? Oh, hey, look at break the focus. Look right here and think about it. Come on. 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 Come He's all over you. She's speaking words right there. She could see his speaking words right there. Go ahead. Let's let's speak in tongues together. Go ahead. Come on, let's make the devil mad. 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 Just every day, just practice that prayer language. And, and it builds, the Bible says it builds us up. It builds us up. It builds us up. You see, years ago, we used to tarry. They said, come to Oliver Terry. Well, no, no, just come and receive. Say, thank you, Lord. Bam, just like that. It didn't take all day, did it? Anybody else want to receive the Holy Ghost right now? You're baptizing the Holy Ghost. You're speaking tongues every day, anybody? Listen, if I was a Christian, I'd be hungry for this stuff. Come on now. Because you are weak without the yeah. power of the Holy Ghost. I'll tell you that right now. You're susceptible to Take temptation. temptation and temptation will grab you one day and you'll throw a conniption fit and backslide. Amen. That's, what, that's what happened to many people. Yeah. But the Holy Ghost will temper your temper. Yeah. He will. He done that for me. He'll do it for you. Anybody? Anybody want to get, want to get better than you are? Anybody want to have more power than you have? Why would you, what? You ever get sick and go to the doctor? How many of you ever went to the doctor before? Amen. Yeah, you all have. Well, did you go there to get sick? No. You, you went to get something from it. Well, come to Dr. Jesus tonight and get something from Yeah, you. come on. Hallelujah. Amen. We was in a meeting one time down there with these folks. Bless God. I had my, micro, I had my microphone on. They always in revival. We just had a, a, a meeting over there and, and, and this is this is Precious Wolf sister. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Tell us what happened that night. Well, I've been sitting over there, if I may. Yeah. Oh, God. My heart's been heavy because we have to go back home. Oh, God, the sweet spirit of Jesus. Oh, yeah. 
He's in this place. Yeah, amen. As we were here, and life is so busy, right? And we are so privileged to have the freedom to come here in public and yes. open the Holy Bible. Yes. 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 It just, I was just yes. sitting there all night just soaking that in that we're, God is so good. Yes. Amen. And for many years, I was guilty of taking it for granted. Uh -huh. Right? And I judged people because maybe their faith wasn't where mine was. But as a pastor's wife, right, everybody's looking at us all the time, right? What they say, what they wear, what they do. I mean, everything. All of us. If we're labeled as a Christian, people are watching, right? Right? There's only one that's perfect. Right? And we have to give people that grace. Right? And I was just sitting there, the holy presence, right? My, my favorite verse, be still and know. Yeah. That I am God. The world is so busy. Right? And I I'm 47 years old. But if my day comes tomorrow, I get to go home. Yeah. Now I don't want to hurry that along. Right? I'm sitting here and, and this week I've been burdened for my for my children and the children of the world. Uh-huh. They're coming up in this COVID. Yeah. Right? They're coming up in a world that, wow, just brings us stuff, right, every day. And I go back to the privilege of having the Bible and preachers. And when I was a kid, churches were packed full. They couldn't wait. But, but you can't drag people. They got to want to come and hear the word. And when I, when I was seeking, right, as a, as a pastor's wife, I'm like, oh, I'm expected. I'm expected to do this and that. No, nope, we're just expected to be us. Yes. Right? And to give Jesus our best every day. Yes. Right? right? And when we get attacked, do you know it's not usually going to be somebody behind us wanting to hit us or beat us? Wow. That's not how usually Christians get attacked. Things pop into our head. Oh, yeah. Things pop into our head and we think things. They might not even come out of our mouth. And we have to say for the devil to flee That's in the right. name of Jesus. Yes. That's right. And the world needs to know that. My heart is so burdened for the children. And someone told me once, they said, keep after our children. Call them. Ask them. Have they went to church? Have they opened their Bible? Dust off their Bible and open it. Right? We have if we don't do it, no one else is. That's right. That's true. No one else is. In the the Holy Spirit, I didn't understand that. I wasn't raised. Even the preacher never even preached about the Holy Spirit. And when you're in the ministry, and as a Christian, you're in the ministry. Right. Doesn't matter. You don't have to be a preacher. I mean, you're in the ministry. If you're Absolutely. A Christian. Yes, you are. And I, and I read in the Bible, the disciples, they, they were just like us. Uh -huh. And they were in the upper room. And why did Jesus and our beautiful Lord give us the Holy Spirit to give us that power? Oh, yes. we, we can't do it on our own. We can't. Pastor and I could sit here all day telling how we have tripped and stumbled. I didn't marry a preacher. I married someone who, who was a drinker, and his mouth was filthy, and mine wasn't all that great either. And we found Jesus. Yeah. We learned as a child, right? And we didn't fall from it. Praise Amen. God. Come on. Praise God that our parents took us. And we drug our boys. I, I say that in jest because our boys, there was a rule at our house. If you lived under our roof Sunday morning, got up and went to church. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. There was no question because you had to get through this guy. And the car doors opened and everybody climbed in. And I am so thankful that we have, and, the, and I just have the burden of that on my heart today. And 
And when two or three are gathered together, two or more are gathered together, right. Jesus is in this place. Yes, right. This is a holy place. All right. A holy place. There are so many people. My boss, I was just talking to today, wildfires. And I said, oh, I wish you were here. I said, I know the whole world's in chaos, but I feel peace in the middle of that. Yeah. At Oregon. And they're in, they're in that Washington, Oregon, yeah. uh, California area. Yeah. And so the gift of the Holy Spirit, I needed it. Yeah. I couldn't wait till older come. Oh. At the end of service, we were at a revival. I come, he, they came up and they said, we want to pray for all the helpers. And I'm like, oh, I didn't help. But I still want to come up. So I couldn't wait to come up. Amen. Yeah, come we had on. about 25 helpers. Yeah, it took forever. It was like an hour before it got to the anybody She was on the end. She was on the very end. And I'm like, oh, I just wanted more because I know, I know, everybody, no one is exempt from the darts and arrows that the devil throws that's at right, us. Ginger. No one yeah, is. That's right, Ginger. And when we, and my husband received the gift of the Holy Spirit, and there's tons of things that God wants us to have, and we need to grow every day until we go to be with Him. Right. Or else that's called backsliding. Right. And I needed the Holy Spirit. It's, it's that prayer language that just builds us up from the inside, right? Amen. Because someday somebody's going to spit on us, oh, yeah. right? Someday somebody's going to say, I don't need God just like today, oh, yeah. right? That could ruin your whole day. Yeah. Yeah. So I we pray for you. Your pastors, they love you. Yeah. So if you sat around their kitchen table every day, you would hear how much they love you. Yeah. And they can't wait to get here to love on you. Hallelujah to God. Just praying to God for his blessings to fall on you. And he yeah. just it's just wonderful to see that. Being in the body of Christ, so COVID is testing us not to gather together. And the Bible says, do not forsake the assembly. That's what it said. The body of Christ is so important. You all have prayed for us as we journey here and as we journey home. Those prayers will carry us home. Thank Absolutely. the Lord. Yes. 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 Thank yes. the Lord. And so, and even as I sit in the front row and I, we're supposed to be examples, right? The more mature, they're examples for us. Uh -huh. yeah. And there's somebody looking at us and seeing what our example is for them. Yeah. It is so important. And is it hard? Yes. Every day we have to pick up our cross. Amen. Well, when I when I I went up and got prayed for, my heart was so burdened of all the stress and sin and pressure of the world that when I received the gifts of the speaking in tongues, just that power of God, I screamed out so. <laughs> You thought somebody cut off my leg or something. It was just, it was a crying from my soul. Yeah, yeah, right? it was powerful. Because I was, I'm a sinner who's lost and I need a great Savior. All of us do. And that, and I, from then on, I received that power that only God can give to help ministry. I, I help, I help ladies and we help families minister. And just tell them there is a hope and a future and a peace. And so um, just soak it in because it's so good. And I pray we always have the freedom to be able to gather together. Well, yeah. Amen. Amen. May I, may I say a quick prayer? Well, absolutely. All right. Well, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the privilege yeah. oh, to you speak go. your name in public. We are thankful for the holy ground that you have given us. Yes, we thank you for your word to guide us, Lord, in every situation. We thank you for covering us with your blood. Even though we're sinners, Lord, you see Jesus. Lord, I pray everyone seek you and, and want to serve you. Yes. Lord. We are so thankful. Yes, Lord. And we just ask for, uh, as folks come back and are able to be unbusy and be here to just yes. praise your name and to lift your name up yes. for the privilege yes. of everything that you have given to yes. us. Yes. In Jesus' holy and precious name, amen. amen. amen.